Hello guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk about Yaroslav Askarov and if you could go first overall in the 2020 NHL Draft. Now, Yaroslav Askarov is the top goalie in the 2020 NHL Draft. And after a very strong Holinka Gretzky Cup, there's been quite a few people to say that he's in the conversation for first overall. And yes, ahead of Alexi Lafreniere. So when it comes to Askarov, does he actually have a chance at first overall in this 2020 NHL Draft? Watch till the end to find out. Now, right now, I'm filming outside of my hotel room. There is a freaking river on that side. So this isn't exactly my most ideal setup, but I'm going to keep it, and we're going to roll with it. But when it comes to Askarov, again, he's the top 2020 goaltender, and a lot of people have compared him to guys like Carey Price, saying he's the best goaltender since Carey Price, and that is heavy, heavy expectations. We've seen quite a few goaltenders go pretty high since Carey Price, obviously most recently Spencer Knight, and Askarov could go as high as him, if not higher. Now, when it comes to my personal rankings, when it comes to Askarov especially, even after his amazing Holinka Gretzky Cup, I still have him in my 12 to 18 range. Not as high as a lot of other people are putting him as, especially after his monstrous Holinka Gretzky Cup. I personally am not the type of guy to put a goaltender that high in the rankings. I usually do prefer to put skaters higher up, but Askarov is definitely making me question that logic, as again, I kind of agree with him being the best goalie prospect since Price, because he is that heavily touted, and for right now, very good reason. Now, Askarov is a Russian-born goaltender at age 17. He's six foot three, 163 pounds. This past season, in 18-19 season, he played in the MHL, getting 31 games, got 2.37 goals against average, and a .921 save percentage. He played in the World Hockey Challenge, he got a 9.48 goal save percentage. He played in the U18 World Juniors, where he got a 9.16 save percentage with Team Russia, a team that was not that great. And in this past Olympic Gretzky Cup, won the gold medal, and for Team Russia, he was basically the reason as he shut out Team Canada, a team that quite frankly dominated that whole tournament. And I think a lot of people know, including me, that he's a very good goalie prospect, but after that monstrous Lincoln Gretzky Cup where he was just absolutely dynamite, I think a lot of people right now are kind of questioning putting him in not just the top 10, but maybe even the top 5 in the final rankings. And again, we're still a year out from the draft, anything can happen right now, but Askarov has one of the best chances of any goaltender I've seen in a long time to go that high, not just top 10, but top 5. Now, this next season, he'll likely be in the MHL, so it'll be a little bit tough for him to really prove himself, I would say, and get that national attention, but I think a lot of scouts right now love his athleticism, love his overall IQ, and right now the skill he has is, again, one of the best we've seen since Gary Price. To put in exact statistics, he played four games in the Lincoln Gretzky Cup, got a 1.25 goals against average, and a .960 save percentage, which is just absolutely insane, and he's doing that at a pretty young age, too. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up playing for the U-20 World Junior Team for Team Russia. He is that good, and even age 17 has that much talent to go with. Now, after his just pure dominance the past year, you have scouts like Craig Button, who I personally am not the biggest fan of, but he still has credible opinions, saying that he could be in the race for that first overall pick. And to me, that's just insane, because I mean, Galaxy Lafreniere will be that guy by the end of the year, no question to me. While there will be some competition, I'm not sure if Askarov will be the guy that's going to bring that competition. And again, he's kind of been inflated, I think, because of his tournament stats being great in the World Juniors and being great in the Holinka Gretzky Cup so far. I think he can prove himself as a top 10 talent possibly to me, but I think to a lot of other people, he's even higher than that. Now, to go first overall, he would have to just be absolutely godly, have better stats than Carey Price, do better than Carey Price, quite frankly, to be in that conversation, especially ahead of a guy like Alexi Lafreniere. And while it will be seriously, seriously, almost impossible to do it, I think he can, again, be in that top five conversation. He is that talented, that gifted, and again, I agree with him being one of the best goalie prospects we've seen in a long, long time. Again, since Carey Price, I don't think that comparable is too bad of a one because he's shown that much talent so far. But to go first overall, you need to do something special. And Askarov, while he has done something special goalie wise, he hasn't done anything too special overall. And Alexi Lafreniere has done that so far. And while it is an impossible right now for him to take that spot, I think Lafreniere has it locked up, at least when it comes to positional skaters. Now, to me, when it comes to potential guys that would be outside of that first overall spot that could take that spot, it would go to skaters like Anton Lindell, Alexander Holtz, Lucas Raymond. 
Quinn and Byfield, perhaps, but not a goaltender like Askarov. And to me, for a team that might have that need, at that point, drafting first overall, they probably would want to take a left for an year anyways. And I think Askarov might have the talent to go top five, but it might just go down to team need. And even at that point, I think teams will rather take those gifted guys, which right now in the 2020 draft is what we've seen. Lafreniere, Lundell, Holtz, Raymond, Byfield, so many fantastic talents. And for Askarov to rise to that level, I think it'll be almost impossible for him, especially when it comes to goalie stigmas right now in the draft. So do I think it's technically impossible? It's obviously not. Anything could happen, but right now I see it as very, very unlikely. And I also see it as unlikely for any other skater to take Lafreniere's spot as number one. I think there's a couple other guys that could, again, rival that spot potentially by the end of the year, but I don't think there's going to be a Jack Hughes versus Capo Caco where it's down to the wire and it's anybody's pick at that point. I think it will be Lafreniere going first overall, and for me, Askarov, to me, won't be particularly close. And answering the question of if you could go first overall in 2020, I think for some people there might be a conversation there, <laughs> Craig Button, not naming names, but to me, to not pick Lafreniere, you go over a guy like Lucas Raymond or a Quinton Byfield at that point, but to me, Askarov just going first overall, to me, is just too unlikely. I see a team, if they're going to go without Lafreniere, being crazy enough to go for a Byfield or a Lundell or a Raymond, but to me, a team going as crazy as picking Askarov Rod number one to me right now there's basically no chance but of course with this video I need to hear your guys' thoughts down those comments down below so let me know what you think about Yaroslav Askarov what do you think about what he's done so far and of course the big question there do you think he could even rival for first overall well I don't think it could particularly be close in my opinion I want to hear your guys' thoughts down those comments down below you know what since I'm in my hotel patio a chair right here I'm just gonna say to click this button right here to watch all of my 2020 draft coverage. That's the playlist. Grab some popcorn and get ready. But that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this kind of Colorado vlog, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share this video with your friends if you haven't already. Comment down below your thoughts too. Again, right now I'm in Colorado. Not the greatest setup, but I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this kind of different flair to the videos, but I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.